Right, uh, Wednesday today, uh, just parked my car at the train station. I'm gonna get the train up to London, uh, see a couple of clients up there and um, then a little exciting trip this evening. Um, so uh, onwards and uh, let's get the train. So we finally got my train. Um, so we're just on the way to London now, see a couple of clients. Uh, I've got the delight of meeting this. Uh, tax station magazine. Unfortunately it's a weekly read that I have to do uh, to keep you lovely people up to date with everything that's going on um, and um, yes yeah, not the most riveting read in the world but something that we have to do anyway. That's what I'm going to do uh, for the next hour and a half whilst I travel up to, to the big city. So just arrived at Waterloo. Um, quite annoying that the guy next to me can stop coughing as well and it's, like, it's quite disconcerting when uh, with the pandemic but anyway um, so I'm uh, read a uh, taxation trying to read that whilst he was coughing was quite annoying but um, anyway, I got a few articles read uh, it was quite uh, interesting keeps me updated which is what I need to do uh, so I'm gonna head over to Liverpool Street now uh, meet first client of the day um, and he's in the fitness industry so we're gonna have a, a catch up with him um, and uh, got no accounts or anything to go through just gonna have a, have a meet uh, with him and um, he's got a few things that he needs to talk to me about. Okay, uh, so bike helmet, uh, oh, oops, check the mic and make off we sure go. It sound right, boy. Well, we're here, but that's not a good sign. Uh, hopefully, we'll get in some other way. I've got pipe to fight off as well. I have a bit of a problem in that this is the third one I've tried and it's all full. I have nowhere to park this bike up. Um, it's becoming a little bit of an issue. Uh, keep looking, I guess. Sorted, docked off. Um, a bit colder than it was last time I did this back in June, but never mind. Uh, right, so now we need to walk our way to Liverpool Street, which I think is down there. Uh, so I just had a meeting, um, that was, went on for about two hours actually, uh, just going through lots of options. Um, I don't want to go into detail on it, but uh, suffice to say, uh, more meetings are required. Um, anyway, right, uh, turns out my two o'clock has uh, got stuck um, without any fuel, so I can't actually get here. Um, but no, <laughs> bizarrely, um, I've just spoken to a new client who's uh, messaged me this morning, um, wife of an existing client, and um, turns out they're also in London, so I'm gonna go over and meet them now, um, which is quite convenient, because it's near my hotel and uh, for my train later on this evening. So I'm gonna get on a bike and head over to Camden Town. So I've got the bike, uh, and uh, now I've got to try and find my way through the maze of um, unknown streets to, to Camden, so good luck. Well, somehow, I don't know, my knowledge of London um, I impress myself sometimes. I've managed to get straight here without any issues, without getting lost, or without any cars pooping at me. Um, so yeah, quite good. Right, now I'm going to go and see this new client. Um, I, from the brief phone call I had, it was to do with uh, buying a property. Um, and uh, so we shall go through options, buy to let, uh, options to limit a company, or in their own name, husband and wife, so we shall um, decide, well not decide, but listen to what they've got to say and uh, give them some advice accordingly. So, good one this one. So just on my way back now uh, from the new client meeting, um, so i um, just looking to purchase property or properties, should we say. So we went through limited company um, and potentially buying in their own name and thought about all the taxes on acquisition of the properties, um, the running costs, the taxes involved in um, running the company and, and running the properties themselves, long-term strategies as well, thinking about uh, when she sells or issue sells um, and or and, you know, lots of options. So it's, I think it's a bit of a um, information overload. So I think I'll be going to summarise that all in an email uh, later on. Um, so anyway, I've made the cardinal sin. I've come to London. I've forgotten my laptop. Left it at home, complete num uh, to numpty. I've also forgotten a pad of paper, so I have done an emergency purchase um, in WH Smith somewhere, because at least I can buy that, um, but not spending money on any laptop though. Um, so now, anyway, we are um, gonna go and find where the bike hire is and go and get another 
bike um, and then we're going to head back to the hotel it's 10 to 4 so i can check in from four o'clock at the hotel so i'm going to go and check in uh, staying in premio in um, near king's cross which is very convenient for later on um, and so uh, right let's go and find out where these bikes are kept um, nearby because i've mucked up a little bit coming here and docked it off too early but uh, it's had a bit of a walk but never mind right onwards <laughs> So we've made it back to King's Cross. I've checked into the hotel. Um, I am um, opposite National Museum. I've managed to get to the dizzy heights uh, of nearly 20 miles an hour on the bike back here, um, which is quite, I don't know, it's funny. It's just a bit of an open stretch of road and just can't help yourself really, can you? I now need to, I've got to catch up on all the emails uh, from the day and uh, ring a few clients back. And then in about, uh, what, half an hour's time I'll walk my way down to King's Cross Station um, for uh, catch a train um, for this evening's um, activities. So looking looking forward to this evening. Um, so off to watch the Peterborough Bournemouth match and um, yeah, should be top of the, well, if we win, go back top of the league. Uh, so we were top of the league until West Bournemouth yesterday. So um, fingers crossed we can get three points and then head back to the top of the championship. Uh, so anyway, right, need to crack on um, some emails and phone calls. Are there any horror Harry Potter fans out there? Uh, platform 9 and 3 quarters. Uh, I won't be going through it though. So I want to go to Peterborough, not Hogwarts. So I'm on the train to um, Peterborough. I'm going to have to come out. I have a phobia, a real issue with people eating crisps. I think it's pathetic, but the noise, people who eat crisps noisily really want me out, especially when I'm sat in a quiet coach on the train. My fingers curl up, my toes curl up, I can't do anything about it. And I'm just putting it out there, I have a real issue with it. And um, so anyway, I've come out just to get some, uh, just to calm myself down. It's pathetic, isn't it? But, um, I'm sure there's someone out there who has the same issues. <laughs> so we're just outside the ground at the moment. Um, I need some dinner. So, uh, so we're gonna get a, a, a Cheeseburger, I think. Cheeseburger and chips. And uh, I might get something inside of it a little bit later on to see how, see how the game goes. Anyway, I'm getting quite excited now uh, just before the kickoff. Um, half an hour before kickoff. Still yet to see the team news, but um, we'll have a look later on. Yeah. I can't believe he did that. So back at King uh, London now, what a rubbish game. And um, anyway, nil nil, rubbish, boring. Uh, a little bit odd, isn't it? Um, it's a little bit cold now as well, because it's the time now. It's about quarter past 11. Um, I'm tired, need to go to bed. Um, quick walk past St. Pancras. That happens to be a bit sad, but it happens to be my favourite building um, in the whole country, stunning, beautiful, amazing architecture and what they've done inside is incredible and hopefully one day my ambition is to stay at the Renaissance Hotel that's inside the st uh, station and get the Eurostar to Paris, um, it's just something very nice about doing something like that. Anyway, right, I'm going to sign off, go back to my hotel, which is just up here, go to bed, um, and then see you in the morning. So, morning after, a nil-nil draw, very boring. Um, night in the hotel, uh, I am at Station. Now it's time to uh, go and get the bike, uh, and go head over to Waterloo, um, and uh, get the train back to the office. So I've got the bike, uh, now I need to find my way to Waterloo. Um, this is going to be a complete and utter challenge, but we'll see how we get on. Luckily, I've got about an hour before the train leaves, um, but I haven't just watched Carol Kirkwood's weather forecast on the east this morning. Um, it should be raining right now, so I need to get to Waterloo before it starts to dump a whole load of uh, rain on me. I've made it to Waterloo on time, uh, plenty of time actually, time, enough time to go and get something to eat, because I'm uh, starving. To be fair, this ain't gonna cut it. I'm gonna need another one of these. <laughs> this is way too small. Six pound twenty-five for that as well. Wow. So back at Bournemouth now. Um, gosh, it's windy, uh, and it's gonna rain in a minute as well. So quite an interesting little journey back actually. Um, so I was doing uh, emails and a couple of phone calls. Um, more R and D stuff. So much R and D stuff going on at the moment. Uh, but interestingly, there's a little back case that I read about, um, and it was something that was. I was involved in 
back in 2015, 2014. Um, we used to act for naked bars and we had a, a VAT issue with HMRC, whereas we'd already um, always accounted for them as zero rate, so no VAT due on them. Um, and VAT, uh, the VAT office said that they should be standard rated. Um, anyway, we ended up having to agree at Lawson's supermarket to um, just take an HMRC to court. Uh, trying to argue that they should actually be zero rated. Anyway, the courts ruled in favour of HMRC, which is um, I'm quite pleased about in some respects because it justifies what we did back in uh, 20 whatever it was. Um, and the courts ruled, agreed with us actually that it should, and, and HMRC, that it should actually be standard rated. Anyway, all very interesting. Um, all shows the complexities of VAT and food. Um, <laughs> which baffles most of us to be honest in the industry uh, so anyway right now I've got to go back to the office um, and I've got a client meeting in a couple of hours time uh, catch up on a few of the guys uh, queries that have been um, they, we need to go through face to face uh, and then um, homeward bound after that uh, Cubs tonight I feel they're going for a little walk around pool key or something um, so it'll be quite quite cool for the little one the little little one um, Anyway, right, over and out, vlog number whatever, done and dusted.